Okay, this is my wild boy. This is Bubbles. He's a two and a half, I guess, about now. Out of all of them, he is certainly the wildest. He's just coming off a meal. He ate about a, well, probably about five days. Oh, you can see he's like right defensive. So I have to very carefully work with this one. Because he can be a little nutty. And he's made quite a mess. So no wonder he's ticked off. See that pose? That head up. Everything. He's just ready. Now this one will definitely nail me if I give him the chance. We'll let you watch him calm down a little bit while I just clean out his water. I'll be right back. Hopefully his he'll put his head down and kind of start moving around. Water's all clean. Now one thing you should actually know is I'm sure you already know that it's a little bit difficult to handle a snake when your hands are wet or the snake is wet. You never want to try that with one of these things. It will get absolutely pissed. Now the easiest way to deal with bubbles is to put him in a spare tank. I could let him crawl on the floor but gets a little crazy at times. So what I'm going to do is just try and get him into the other tank. He is so watching me. He's not happy. I'm going to just change him a little bit. You can see he's going backwards of course. So this one is still not really used to the whole like touching thing. See him puffing and puffing? I don't know if you can see that. Probably can. Watch his breathing as I try to approach him. I don't know if you can see it or not. He's so watching me. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Got to really start slow with this guy. He's okay once he's calmed down. Like once he puts his head down, he'll be okay. Well, he'll be better, anyways. But he is pretty wild. He's certainly the most gutsy out of them all. He's very bold. He's not afraid of anything, and he's very quick to defend. Even though you know there is really no threat. He doesn't realize that. So again, he's still got his head up and he's he's not watching me as much. He's still looking at me, but he doesn't have like a crazy look in his eyes. And you can see his head is going down a little bit. He's still huffing and puffing though. So I'm going to see if he'll let me move him. Because he certainly has to come out of here. Yeah, he's not too happy about that. And he's wet. I have to kind of <laughs> you want me, don't you? You want me. See him huffing and puffing? I don't know, can you see that? very uptight. So 
So when he gets like that, the best thing to, to do, if I can, is kind of distract him. I hope you can see him huffing and puffing like that. Maybe I'll even try... Hmm. Okay, come on Bubbles. You can do it. Just If I can get him moving forward, get his attention off of me, well, I should be okay. He's really slippery because he's wet and he's not going to like this. Come on, come on. You can do it. Ideally, if I can get him to come out of his tank a little bit, it'll be a lot easier to get him all the way out. But he doesn't really like people at all. And he's very wet. So it makes him a real handful. Okay, okay, okay. Here, okay. Again, you gotta offer as much support as you can because he's ticked. And he's not gonna like it. So we'll just point him towards this, gently put him down. Not only will he scare himself, but he'll just scare me at times. <laughs> he's quite fun. He's quite a handful. He's not always that bad, but quite often he is. Okay, so I'm just going to clean his tub and we'll pick it up when I get back. Okay, you can see Junior's all Still a little freaked out, of course. He's a blood. They are like that. I'm just putting paper in his other tank, which is why he's uh, fussing around there. Still watching me. Doesn't look like he's calmed down very much at all. Expected with this one. All right. So, give him some water. He's still going to be a little wet, so of course he's not going to be happy about having to be picked up and put into his other tank. And this. Hopefully Nira's not going to be like this for you, but there's a possibility that she will. And they're very, very moody. They, uh, they go through, you know, times when they're okay and times when they're not. There we go, he's a little calmer now. Often I can just, from something like this, if I don't, like he doesn't want to be played with at all, so I'm not going to bother pushing his limit. But often when he's like this, I can just point him to his tank and he'll go right in. Because he does like these tubs, he feels safe. Ooh. Relax, Bubbles, relax, you're okay. He's so dense right now. So tense. Okay, so let's see if we can just point you. It's okay, you're alright. Nobody's gonna eat you. Wow, he is so ready to strike. Okay, it's okay, big boy. And today is not one of those days. really difficult to pick up because he's wet. Okay, chill, 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 relax. 
You're okay. They tend to really not like being put into anything. So wherever possible, it's always best to just let him go in on his own. And today he doesn't want to go in anything. Not at all. Squeezy. He's got another big P coming too, I can feel it. That's probably why he's a little bit edgy. But, you can't give up. And you can't stay in this tank. So you do have to go in your other one. Yes, you do. You sure do. So now he's just more frightened than anything. Oh, he's wagging his tail. That's not good. That means he's very uptight. So at this point, I'm probably better off to just leave him in this one for now until he calms down. And then later on, put him back in his regular tank. So you see that head up? Ready. He's ready. See those eyes. Definitely alert and pissed off. So what I'll do is just leave him in there for a while to chill out. Hopefully he'll take a pee and he'll feel a little bit better. And I'll be able to put him in his regular tank. And when you put the lid on these things you always have to go very slow because he will strike it. You'll probably actually hear a thump. If I don't do it gently enough. Okay, he's okay. He's alright. We'll put him back for a little bit. And that's that.